Welcome back to the dog house, the official home of dog father's toys. Today we're going to be doing a first for me. I don't know if they ever made these before. It's a Star Trek mystery box. You had several you could choose from. The original, the original series or you get the next generation. I chose the original series because I'm a William Shatner fan and James T. Kirk is one of the best captains in Star Trek history. But before we go any further, for first time viewers, please hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. And as a lot of people know, I post videos on my Facebook page. Hit the link and I'll take you right to it. Please watch. I'd appreciate it. Now, with that said, oh, and when you go to my channel, there's other videos on there. Some video show, uh, YouTube shorts. There's some are funny, some are not, but I try. So, with that said, let's get on with it. Star Trek has been around for over 57 years. I think it came out a year before I was born. Hint, hint, that gives me my age. And this, like I said, I don't know if they ever done this before. I just happened to see this on Facebook. Now, the box itself looks like what they released earlier as a model kit. So I hope it ain't a model. I'm, it's a mystery. So let's break this thing open and look what's inside. Okay, let's do that. And pop that open. Let's see. And I'll turn it. Put this in front of me where I can't see in there. And let's see what we got in here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to grab is. What looks like a mini figurine. You could have several, one, two, three, four, eight to choose from. What looks like Sulu is the mystery one. So let's see which one we got. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And on this side it says Kirk's a mystery. Well, somebody's a mystery. <laughs> okay. What's this? The official, and there's a little advertisement for the official Star Trek magazine. And I think I think I figured out who this one is by looking at the back of it. I should not have done that. Oh no, it wasn't. It's a Dr. McCoy figurine. And I about know what he would say. Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a miniature. I thought it was going to be Lahura because on the back side of this paper it had this. So, but I was wrong. Okay. And it does look like DeForest Kelly or Dr. McCoy. He somewhat, his arms move, so... Okay, one down. Next we have quite a few things in here. Uh, I got something that says Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, 
Let's see here. You peel that. Make sure it wasn't a sticker. <laughs> Okay, when this is, oh, the plaque that's on board the, well, it's hard to see with the gla glare because it's gold, but it's a plaque that's on the bridge of the Enterprise saying USS Enterprise, Galaxy Class, which is Captain Picard's Enterprise, Starfleet Registry NCC-1701D. And where of a bill and all the admirals who approved of the building of the Enterprise. And then see you've got Starfleet Command Gene Admiral Gene Roddenberry, who's the creator of Star Trek, Rick Berman, who was the producer of Star Trek The Next Generation. And how I understood it, most of these names are involved with the show. So, that's sort of, I think it looks like a sticker. And that next one in line, we have a wall print, well, in a frame, with the original crew of the Enterprise. As you can see, there's the original crew of the Starship Enterprise. Except for Mr. Scott, he's not listed there or pictured. You have Kirk, Spock, Lahura, Bones, Sulu, and Chekhov, but no Scotty. Interesting. You can hang that on your wall. Next we have, feels like a book. Yeah. Uh, property of the USS Enterprise. Let's see, pop this open for a minute. See what we got, it might be like a journal. Yeah. Like a notebook, journal. Then you got the crew of the Enterprise on it. On the back it says property of USS Enterprise. Okay. Put that down. Next we have A Star Trek pen with multicolored. And I have not seen one like this in all forever. And some I had a pit. A pen like that, I must have been like in middle school, elementary, and it's only, only got pictured Captain Kirk on it. Let's see. And we got something fluffy in here, and it is. The plastic's getting harder to open, or I'm getting weaker in my old age. Or a combination of both, as my, everybody says. Okay. I got that open. Oh, it's like a, like a lanyard. I guess that's how you pronounce it, but you can put like your 
like a badge or something in it and hang it around your neck it's got the Starfleet emblem and then the captain's colors it says Star Trek next I think we're running out of stuff in here oh, what's this Looks like the top of the pen. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't know what this. Let's see. Open it up. We have. Uh, another wall decoration, metal, or glass, it says, same like the journal, property of the USS Enterprise, you can hang it on your wall, that's either glass or, looks, no that's glass, And what was this part? You put that, I guess you put the like that, and you put that on. And I guess it, let's see. Yeah. Put it on top of your pen. He's got the crew of the Enterprise on there. So. Not bad for my first time with a Star Trek mystery box. I don't know if they'll make more. I didn't come with a cheat sheet. Nope, no cheat sheet. So put those put this stuff back. Oh well. I'll put it back after I get done. <laughs> but that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, for first time viewers, please subscribe. And until the next one, have a good one. Boldly go somewhere. And until next time, bye-bye.